Wait, no react to Gold River stuff? I couldn't find a summary of it all. I can react to it right now. Why not? You want to put it on the, you want to put it on the YouTubes? Should we put it on the YouTubes? Let's watch it right now. Stream was two hours. The stream was two hours. I went to bed. I wasn't going to stay up for that. Do you want to read Saints thing? Uh, the Reddit, yeah, it was long. It was a good stream, IMO. It was good. All right, let's just go through it real quick. All right, here we go. Uh, Gold River is working a lot, a lot more recently and seems to be a lot more hands-on as of late. Being involved in things like planning the roadmap with the three leaders. The live stream is mainly a follow-up of existing topics from the previous one on stuff that we've been working on and what they can share. Uh, brought up gatekeeping culture, talking about cards. The gatekeeping is usually LOS 18 or higher. <clears throat> which is too difficult to achieve as a brand new player. I still think LOS 18 is like, uh, whatever. He mentioned that they can't just give free LOS 18, partially because of how many people spent real money on it to get there. Those users would feel cheated by this. Um, I mean, I personally wouldn't give a fuck if they just gave got rid of cards and I spent money on it. I feel like they need to make cards easier to get then. Like they just need to make cards easier to get. If you're like, I, I don't, I don't think deep dive, they don't do anything. Deep dive doesn't do anything. It, it's, it's, it, you, you it, it's stupid. I think I've said that from the very beginning. I said that a year ago. Deep dive is stupid. Don't give people a new card set. Cause if people, if people are using deep dive and not LOS, it's cool damage wise, but it doesn't solve the gatekeeping thing. Cause people are just going to see that you're using deep dive. That's what they're going to do. They're just going to gatekeep based on deep dive. They are stoops. They're saying they slowly will be available through the game. Okay. I'm just reading based on what this says. I don't know. This is the TLDR. Just don't make a new card set. Like don't make, just give people, just give people LOS easier. Like that, that's it. That's the best solution. Just give people LOS 30 more easily. Don't give them a new card set. Don't give them an alternative. Just give them the cards that everyone uses, but make it much more easily, easy to acquire. Make it targeted. You have to give them the same thing. Don't make it like a, a spin-off or a newbie version. Just give them the straight up cards that everyone has. If you don't want to just hand that out, sure, but make it easier to acquire, right? Don't give them like a one that you're like, oh, well, that's the newbie one, right? Don't separate them. Um, <clears throat> they are cooking something up to alleviate the cards out of the system as a whole. They will show this later. He asked if four by three from the engraving support is sufficient to the live chat on YouTube. Player answer from chat is gatekeep that shit. He just had a random thought about card support within the Express might be a good uh, as a new player temporary measure while they work on their cards. Player, give them five by three. I hope they do that too. <laughs> give them five by three. <laughs> Why? It's temporary, right? Give them five by three and just make it so you get cards more easily. Uh, next topic is daily content fatigue slash burnout. First Chaos Dungeon doesn't think supply, doesn't think just simply just making it once a day is the right term, uh, long-term decision, sure. Uh, while they acknowledge that daily homeworks are important to address, right now their efforts are being put towards developing end, ga end game contents. Remember, this is the thing that community is most vocal about. They want to be careful about short-term bandages since they have long-term effects and repercussions later on. They're actively testing their current bandage solution for improving chaos engines like aggro range and similar things that make it less annoying. Intending to improve rewards from chaos engine further, uh, potentially cards, that would be gas. Reiter reiterating their goal <clears throat> right now is just to make chaos engine less fatiguing speed up the increased rewards asked if the gold red portal rewards are okay to youtube live chat chat is saying the rewards from those rooms aren't exciting they're not they're trash uh gold member shared that the gold from these rooms are sufficient for three or so from these rooms account for three percent of all gold generated in the game he's saying it's a lot and chat is surprised that it's that high as well gold rooms are uh make up for three percent of all of the gold generated in the game that's a lot. Unas, raids, and where else does gold come from? Island, Tukey, I, I don't know. 3% doesn't seem like a lot. I don't, thinking of lowering the frequency of red gold portal, but increase the amount that you can earn when they do appear. Sure. I think if you give me a, a, a fucking thousand or two, a thousand five hundred gold or something when it hits, sure. You know what I mean? Or 2000, sure. But what do you even get right now? How much gold do you even get? What do you, what do you, no, but that's not gold printing. Exchange isn't gold printing. We're talking about raw gold sources. How much, how much do you get? I swear it's like 200 G or some shit, bro. Is it really a thousand gold from a gold portal? Really? I swear it's not that much. 
Um, they will try to implement the improvements of the Cha of Chaos Dungeon by August 2nd. Okay, that's really soon. Next topic, Guardian Raids. As mentioned before, he wanted Guardian Raids to be somewhere between daily, uh, a d quick daily, daily quick and easy, and weekly serious content. But he had to convene with the three leaders. Same goal as in mind, make the content less tiring as compared to daily repetition and increase the reward. He mentioned that even though it's obvious what the problems are, finding a good long-term solution is still challenging. What is 100% confirmed, daily Guardian Raids will, will definitely be removed. They will plan out this new version of Guardian Raids so that you don't have to do them as often. This is still cooking. This will also be more concrete by August 2nd, same as Chaos Dungeon. It's good. It's good. Regarding player fatigue and burnout, the main concern is actually weekly raid content repetition. This is also true. <clears throat> I think this is one of the most important things. I don't think doing the same raid over and 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 over again is fun. I think doing it a few times is fun. I think once in a while is fun, but I don't, I don't think spamming the same raid 55 times on different characters is fun. He asked YouTube chat how they felt about the most recent raid in Voldyke. It's fun. And how they felt about it as homework. Chat responded, it's mostly fine. Just gate two can sometimes be shit. Chat mentioned entropy is annoying in it and started to talk about entropy. He, intention he mentioned that the intent is not just to make the game easier for entropy. So they're looking into alternatives for people who play this way. Concept of high risk, high rewards, entropy positional classes, or just fucking nuke it out of existence. He said that they would definitely address the issues of entropy in some way or form. It's an important issue. Even making entropy high risk, high return can cause issues, but they're seriously thinking about the game because the game is gradually getting harder, mechanics are getting more complex, and patterns are getting faster, which is usually impacts entropy more than Hitmaster playstyles. Keeping in mind as they continue to develop new fights is challenging since players will tackle these fights differently depending on if they're one on, I guess he's saying Hitmaster or entropy. Asking about the number of gates in a raid, three or four, he's asking YouTube chat for their opinion on what they like more. I feel like what this, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this translation is literally Lust Boy. Uh, the opinions of, from the live chat and YouTube are pretty mixed regarding three or four gates. What do you guys think, three or four gates? Three? Yeah, me too. Uh, Gold River and Theomine uh, has to be, Gold River said Theomine has to be four gates. But he also mentioned that Brel Shaza was kind of a mistake. That's definitely a Lost Boy translation. <laughs> and Six Gates was too much. Saint, at the time we thought it was fucking cool, but how bad that came to butt us in the ass later on. Yeah, exactly what I thought. I thought that it was cool the first time I did it, the first few times I did it, and then it was just not fun anymore. Yeah. But it's just the repetitiveness of it. It's, it's not that the raid is bad. It's that you do it multiple, 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 multiple times, right? Like that's, that, that is the core issue. They need to invest in other things other than raids. It's just too many of them. It, I, I don't, it doesn't matter what the raid is. Even doing, like, I guess it's fine as an activity, but try other things too, right? Try other activities that are fun to do. Not everyone likes to even fucking raid too. Because like the, the experience of raiding, if that's your only content, is the experience of Party Finder. And Party Finder experience in any game is fucking dog shit, man. It really is. The Party Finder experience in most games is dog shit. You're just sitting there waiting for a group to fill. You're trying to get into a group. Then you have like this resume to get into a group. It's not a great experience, man. But if you don't play Lost Ark for raids, then you play the wrong game. Well, that's the problem. That's my point. That is the problem, though, is that the game turned into just fully raids, and then they told us, before it came out in the West, they told us that they're going to be working and developing other types of content so that there's something for everyone to enjoy. That's what he told us. People forget that, but that's what they told us, right? So th then I'm like, yo, this is lit. All right, raids are cool. What else are you going to cook up? Vaulton was two gates. Uh, people enjoyed Vaulton. Vicus was three gates, but Static showed that it was more difficult raid than Vaulton and Kakul. Number of Vaulton was two gates. People enjoyed Vicus is three gates, but Static showed that it was more difficult raid than Vaulton and Kakul. Number of clears versus number of player deaths. I don't know if that's the best metric to go by because 
<clears throat> what are we talking about in Korea? Because if we're talking about in Korea, yeah, you can just skip literally every single mechanic in, in, in Clown. Of course, it's like, it's way easier. Also, if we're talking about like number of deaths, I mean, there's more people too, but from the chat, it seems most people prefer three gates. Okay. Gold River feels that in general, raid should be a mix of two, three, or four gates, never more than four, not just always a specific amount of gates. That's fine. He also refer referenced Anixia from World of Warcraft, how it's just a single gate in a single boss fight. Yeah. Maybe Lost Ark can do more of that in the future. I mean, that's fucking gas. If I could just go in and fight the main boss, I would love that. That would be great. <clears throat> that would be fantastic. For some of them, that'd be great. To sum it up, that's probably the direction they're going with. After Thamon, they'll think of raids as two, three, or four gates, even entertain the idea of a single boss Medical gate encounter. Up. They and won't make Brashaw's a mistake ever again, and they want to mix it up. Hell, a point I missed is that by doing raids with the lower gate counts, it may also require less resources, which can help speed up development. Yeah, we don't need as many fights, bro. Straight up. We don't need as many gates. We don't need as many fights. Just do other stuff. Am I in the boat? I want to just make other things. Let me do some other stuff. Give me some solo challenges. Give me some other things in the world. Give me some other shit. Some cool, something that, I, invent a new system. Stop making Minesweeper and like weird progression systems. Make fun activities. Let me just do some other dope shit. Spice it up. That's all I want. I'm okay with the raids and I'll enjoy the raids for what they are. But I want to see you develop other things. I want to see what else you can make. I don't even care if it doesn't end up being great. I would love to see you develop other stuff for everyone to enjoy. Meme stuff, meme fucking, even make, fine, make meme raids. I don't know. I don't give a shit. Give me more dungos. A new, like, a new, like, leaderboard system, something. Mococo and raid, fuck it, dude, anything. Just make other stuff. I mean, this is all great shit. Am I coming off negative? I want to say this is all great shit. I'm not trying to come off negative. It's great. I'm happy for it. I'm excited to see what's going on. This is great shit. I'll check it out, right? Like, this is good shit. Um, this is what you should have been doing a while ago, but hey, I'm not going to hold that against you. We move on. We move forward in life. And this is good shit. Let's see what, you're, let's see what you cook up, you know? Great. Let's see what you cook up, right? Regarding equalized content, Hell Guardians will be unequalized. They mentioned this is in previous live stream. People aren't really doing Hell Guardians. Um, I mean, that's kind of cool. The issue is that having stop a DPS, stopping a stop DPS in a raid. People aren't doing Hell Guardians because the rewards are dog shit, bro. Like, give me some dope shit for it. Like, a lot of games with prestigious content, you get cool shit. I don't want a statue in my motherfucking stronghold. Give me some dope shit, man. Like, in, in WoW and PvP, we would get fucking, like, we have gladiator mounts that are fucking insanely cool. We have fucking enchants. We have, like, glows on our weapons and shit. They're, like, cool shit. Titles are cool, I guess, but give me some dope shit and I'll do it. Give us, like, the, the weapons from FF14 for ultimates. Like, give us some cool shit. Stuff that, like, really pops. Yeah, give us, like, some sick shit and people will do it. I'll do it. Bro, you're telling me if you could give me a custom glow on my weapon that actually was, like, pretty cool, people wouldn't do it? You'd be out of your mind, bro. People swipe for glows. The issue of having to stop DPS in a raid, okay? They're still working to fix this. He asked YouTube chat if they really want Hell Hanumatan to be an equalized raid. Their answer was they didn't really matter. Uh, it didn't really matter. The answer didn't really matter. It's not going to be equalized. Yeah, because people, yeah. About Challenge Guardian and Challenge Abyss weekly content. They have been considering just nuking it out of existence. Only 37 to 38 players are actively doing it. I'm part of that problem. Mainly citing that these contents are considered uninteresting for new players and homework for existing players. It's not being attractive content for new players and worsening the, car, uh, the card gatekeeping problem because a lot of Makoko players aren't even doing the one contents that earns you cards. Wait, so what are we going to do and what are you, you going to give cards from then? I guess just give it other ways? I mean, what do you guys think? Do they just get rid of it? Do you just nuke it out of existence? August 2nd, extre uh, Extreme Vaulton. Think of Hell Vaulton, but not equalized. If you're already a Hell Enjoyer, it's going to be easy. Yo, that's fucking cool. I mean, I don't really like re-releasing content, but hey, that's like something that's coming up in a tangible amount of time. That's cool. That's actually really cool. They're hoping this can entertain players until Thamon until September in addition to making everything easier that was already planned. 
Giga Juice players will obviously have an easy time, but the content should still do a good job of putting players in their place who haven't done the mechanics properly in, in a long time. He really wants to remove this, some of existing gates like raids of like Kangol Gate 1 from earlier on and removing some gates from Brel Shaza. What? Some pretty likely for the two other raids. In order, By the way, I want you to know that this is all happening because they absolutely fucking dropped the ball and everyone stopped playing. I just want you to know, this is literally the exact, this is literally the exact same thing as World of Warcraft. This is the exact same thing. In Maple Story and BDO is Final Fantasy XIV. I'm telling you, this is the same thing. All of the, we'll think about it, uh, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're, we'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, you know, we just don't think it's possible. All of this is the same thing. Why do we get to this point? It's just how it goes, bro. In every game company, I'm not saying I've just been here before. This is the exact same thing. And I'm playing BDO and it's Final Fantasy 14. This is the exact same scenario. Then all of a sudden, Oh, August 2nd, we'll fix that. We'll take this out. We'll give you a better vault in. We'll get, we're just, uh, we'll get these things you don't like, get rid of them. It's literally the exact, it's not doomers that finally won. Doomers don't win. Doomers are annoying as fuck. You know who actually wins? People that go and play other games. Those are the winners. The doomers never win because they just eat shit and then they like it. That's what a doomer is. They eat shit and they like it. There's like, they're just sitting there and they keep doing it and they keep doing it and they keep doing it and they keep doing it. They're poo poo eaters. But when you play different games, you win. Actually, crazy to me when I'm reading this, man. And I wanna get this clear for the YouTube because I know Recall is gonna post it. There's always a motherfucker in my comments, right? Always, whenever I say this advice, if you're not having fun, don't play the game. And Stoops is like, oh, just quit the game, bro, if you're complaining. No, what I'm saying is, if you're gonna sit there, you want to give feedback while you're playing a game? Good on you. But if you're going to sit there and be angry and baby rage and just shit on everything and live in this negative state, that's when I should tell you, that's what I'm telling you to not play the game. If you want to provide feedback, sure. And am I complaining about the complainers? No, because I'm playing BDO right now. I'm not complaining about the complainers. I just avoid them. <laughs> I just avoid them. And you should do because they make your life worse. They make your life worse. But... People that go off and when you just have to know that companies in gaming today, they react when they start seeing like people leave their game. It's what I've been saying for a long time. So instead of shitting on every other game product that's doing well because you don't play it, you should be like, hey, competition is good. Because I promise you, if there wasn't competition, you would not be seeing these changes. You would not be seeing them go back on what they're doing and making these drastic changes over summer and giving you a mo one month, less than a month time frame to fix some of them. You would never be seeing these ever. You want to know why you got that second Jay's hammer in BDO? Guess what? Because now the Lost Ark Andes are looking for things to play. That's exactly why you guys got those rewards. You want to know why you're getting these crazy, uh, these dream mounts? Because it's competition, baby. They know it's poaching season. They're going out to fish. That's what they're doing. They're fishing. Jay, that letter, he's fishing. He's fishing. He's joelling. He's joelling you. That's what they're doing. They're giving you shit because you know what? It's competition season, baby. It's summertime. It's time to make that money. It's time to bring in the peeps. No, the second Jay's hammer, not the first one, lovely form. The second follow-up Jay's hammer. That dream out, it's fish. You get more shit. They're going to give you more shit. It's all structured in a way to get people to go. It's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that they're negative. I'm not, listen, you should not be even, you should be like, yeah, this makes sense. Wouldn't you do that? If you had an influx of people coming into your game, wouldn't you be like, oh, I'm all over it. Here's a nice little letter. Here's a thank you. Here's some free shit. You would do that. Of course you would, right? Because you want to keep your customers happy. You want to keep the people happy. Do you, do you blame them? It makes sense. I would too. You're funny, Stoops. I'm glad you think I'm funny. That's what you should do. Got to keep your customers happy. It's just business, boys, right? At the end of the day, they're a business. They got to pay the devs. They got to pay that big head honcho at the top that wants another yacht. They got to pay for everything.
It's business. It's Corpa. That's how it goes in games. In order to enjoy endgame content, he feels new players have to learn so many mechanics from so many raids that they have to progress through. Yes, which is very burdensome in the new player experience. This is why you should have reset the tier a long time ago. Like studying an exam for 20 different raids. It's too many. He thinks the big problem stands in the way of new players catching up to where existing players are now. Yes. Good. Decided that Areha Abyssal Dungeon was good content for most players that managed to get through just fine. Yeah, because everyone was going through it for the first time. Uh, on the other hand, Argos didn't do well in terms of player retention. Uh, I guess Argos had a lot of mechs. That could be true. Also, Argos was ass, but it did have a lot of mechs. Argos actually has a lot of mechs. A lot of weird-ass ones, to be fair. Like the sundial and shit. You remember all the... And then, and then the pizza was kind of a lot to remember for any people. I get that. It's fair enough. Just thinking about the Otomes Lost for Season 2, Legion before, uh, before Legion raids and alts started piling up, when the game contents didn't feel like homework, he wants to return to that time. Wow. Okay. He's speaking that moolah, huh? He's speaking that moolah. There you go. Uh, mentioned that there was some really good QOL. He talked about the Ocean Liner improvements, for example, that the three leaders added and will continue to add more. He's doing some L saving here. Uh, more battle item improvements. Uh, they need more time to address the issue regarding six character gold reward lockout, let cook. I do not want them. I do not want them to make, if you want to uncap people's ability to make alts and make more gold, I'd rather have you come up with another solution to less infinitely farm. I do not want the best way to make gold is to farm up more and more and more and more and more alts for raids. I don't know. I don't want this. I don't want, make, let me make more on one character. I do not want to have to go through the process of rebuilding characters every time to make gold. Uh, next topic, gold inflation. <clears throat> it's not possible just to lift the restriction for unlimited characters. It's doomed if they do that. Okay. Uh, it used to be this way. Okay, that's great. Some players are recommending 18 raids that is roster shared instead of three for six characters. Oh my God. Yes. Says it could be an option, but this topic is still cooking as well. That's great. I don't know if I want to do 18, but if I could just do all of them on one character, that would be sick. Yes, please do that. Please do that. Unsurprising, a lot of stuff is still cooking, but there are a few confirmations of the stream that they will do, a few confirmations that definitely won't do. If they keep doing these live streams and continue updating stuff like this, it's a good thing. YouTube chat is now asking to increase the max Ross level from 300. Uh, they discussed about this. Uh, they haven't discussed about this internally. Some people are in chat are shit-talking Gold River. He's reading it. He doesn't seem to mind. He's asking chat if he scheduled the live stream too soon because they don't have many new confirmations of stuff they're doing since the last stream like nine days ago. He's actually just asking the chat, huh? I feel like this is great. Why would they even be mad? What are, what, this is, am I wrong? I feel like this is great. He said that from now on, all feasts will be implement, all feasts will be implemented that the way that, wait. He said from now on, all event feasts will be implemented the way they just did in the latest update. Basically, there's no RNG on event food anymore, Keck W. Uh, number of character slots, current max is 24 of classes. He's assuming it will be increased with Soul Eater. He's kind of fucking around a little bit since he's trying to pick up questions in the comments on the YouTube chat. It's more lax live stream compared to the previous one. Someone said asked about transformative classes. Okay. Is he practicing a live streaming career if this case doesn't work out? He's saying the Third Awakening isn't quite what players think it's going to be. He's wondering if players will be disappointed that it's not literally a third choice for Awakening skill. He says it's not like, it's just, it's not just a skill like that, but its own vertical progression system. Talking about Abyssal Loop, uh, Mario Party, uh, you moved around the board. Uh, they've restarted development on this content. It's likely that it, it's likely not just be a mini game of one island anymore, but related to a progression of a of the character. Huh, that's kind of cool. The Soul Eater trailer will be posted on the YouTube channel. Uh, Chaos Gates or whatever. All right. Overall, this is great. This was great. Overall, this was fucking fantastic. The rest of this is just like him casually. They just need, I told you, okay, listen, boys. I told you that this guy is the Rizzler. I told you. Overall, he will do a lot of good to the game. 
him being back talking about the game. He just knows how to talk to people and just be he's just he just makes you feel like you're you're heard. That's pretty much it. As far as the absolute changes go, um if that's really him coming into office and making those changes, then that team has no idea what they're doing. But if it's more so because they're finding that people are playing other games and it's competition based, that's a good thing, right? I want them to make the right changes for the game, boys. That's what I want. I want them to put the best changes forward for the game. I think that you guys win as players that way, whether you like it or not, or you want to say that I'm wrong because it's negative, or I'm not saying you should quit the game. I've never, I've saying you should quit the game if you're unhappy and angry. Um, just know that these are the best possible things. These times are the best possible times for the game that you enjoy, man. That's when they're going to listen to feedback, make the changes, and reevaluate things. And a lot of companies go through this. It's not just gaming. It's restaurants. I mean, there's a lot of places like that. You look at a restaurant that you like to go to. It gets really popular. And guess what people say? Uh, the food's not like what it used to be. You ever heard that example before? A restaurant that you'd go to like was fucking super good and then it starts popping off the service, the food, the experience isn't what it used to be. And that's just how it goes, man. <clears throat> that's how business works and game companies are no different to that. No, no exception to that. So, you know, that's what I've been saying with BDO, man. Straight up. I've been saying with BDO, great. The game's getting a lot of, doing a lot of things right. I hope they don't take their foot off the gas because that's how it always works out, man. Things start popping off. They start doing really well. And that's great, you know? Don't take your foot off the gas. Keep going with it. And it's hard to do. It's not an easy task to do. Um, it's not easy to do. It's not an easy thing to do. And so I hope that they uh, continue to do that. And I hope that Losser continues to make the right changes. And I don't give a shit about Soul Eater. Now what I'm most interested to see in is the August update. The August update where they're going to revamp some of the systems and stuff like that. I don't care about Soul Eater. I don't care about more classes that I know are going to be insanely hard to raise. I want to see what they're going to do with the systems and the daily experience. I don't give a shit about a class that I know. Uh, I'm never going to get to the end game because it's too ridiculous to get there. Right? So, yeah. Have I seen the trailer though? I'll watch it, yeah. <laughs> 